Hello subscribers and non-subscribers and welcome to part one of Let's Play Stellaris, Roma, and Victa. So, uh, one thing I want to go mention, obviously, the Roma in this series is based off my EU4 Roma and Victa series, uh, obviously with a little bit of just me doing whatever the hell I want, because just Stellaris doesn't allow me to completely represent the way um, our Rome was in that series, so yeah. Let me go ahead and knock that down roughly by half. Keep habitable, habitable worlds at roughly a half of what should be the norm. We'll do a 3,000 star galaxy. Now, obviously, I don't plan to necessarily play this game all the way to a galactic conquest. We'll basically just be playing for as long as possible. And basically just see how far we can expand before the save stops working due to patches and whatnot. Now, what I want to go ahead and mention is that because in my uh, Rome, EU4 Roman Invicta series, I had completed um, two decisions that, technically speaking, were supposed to result in bases being set up on the moon and Mars, uh, we are going to go ahead and... Uh, I already have TFW, so I don't care to use yours. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go and actually be using cons of commands to have our science ship or well first I'm gonna have my science ship go and survey both the moon and Mars so that I can know about any deposits on them but then I'm gonna use console commands to convert the two to being um, colonizable planet types and then obviously I'm gonna use consoles as well to go ahead and actually start the colonization process again this is just meant to represent the fact that we had already in my EU4 campaign of which I'm trying to have this be like an actual sequel to we ended up um, setting up bases there so I figure well if we set up bases there we probably colonize and I don't know why the hell my mouse just stuttered going up there uh, we'll just go for that so yes now, technically by this time, we hadn't actually finished conquering the Earth, so I'm not too surprised. I'm fine with not using a console command to fully populate this world as well. Let's go ahead and kick that up to two speed, and do I want to do any moving of you guys around? No. You guys are fine as you are. Decided to give us robots, because I figure we probably did a decent job of advancing our tech, so I figure it makes sense for us to use robots. Oh. Yeah, should have done that before I... So you do research focus before I had done that, but I forgot, so yeah. Uh, no Admiral skill change, I hate that. Um, I'm not going to have you extend that just yet. Once you swap to research focus, I'll let you have that set to be extended. Uh, no, I didn't have the Star Wars weapons mod installed. At least not this time around. Okay, so. We are going to go ahead and swap Luna, the moon, to an Arctic. Because I figure that's the closest we can get. You can't colonize barren worlds, typically. And I don't want to use a mod that makes barren worlds colonizable. Just because a lot of the worlds we're going to run into are going to be barren. And we're already playing on a 3000 star galaxy map as a result of another mod. So... I don't need the AI deciding to go and colonize a bunch of barren worlds and slow the game down a ton, so that's why I'm not doing that. I could have made my own mod to make a unique form of barren world for just these two worlds and made that colonizable, but again, I didn't want to do that because I hate modding Stellaris. I got two mods for it, but I hate modding Stellaris just because it always crashes Windows Explorer or File Explorer, whatever the hell it's called. So go ahead and do that to the Arctic world. Um, let's pull up this just to make sure. Okay, yeah, you are number four at all the times. The conquest of a new world has begun. And I don't want it to actually be renamed, if you don't mind. So, change it back to Luna. And let's go ahead and turn off the debug tooltips, because I don't need it on the whole time. Now, I do need to go ahead and find a way to get some extra energy credits while we're doing this. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. Uh, and I'll probably move you temporarily off of there for the next... Oh, jeez, it's going to take 60 months? Okay, that's... Wow, I was not expecting to take 60 Anomaly months. Anomaly found. That's fine, whatever. Feel free to go ahead and search it, but we're not going to be using it. Wow, yeah, 60 months. I was not expecting that. I will have to take that into account. Oh, we're sort of in the center. That'll be interesting. The Venus will probably also have that terraformer. Her, um... Tile blocker clear. Yeah, terraforming candidate. Okay. Now you can go ahead and finish surveying the rest of the system. Now, Mars is going to be turned into a desert world, because that's the closest there is in terms of just general look. Anything else, and it'll be too different looking. We might actually do terraforming for it later, like legit terraforming, but for now we're just going to use this, because this is the closest we can get. And then I believe you should be five, but again, let's just check and make sure. You are five at all times. Just want to make sure, because hey, you never know. The conquest of a new world has begun. Okay. Um. Build a power plant there. Our research is going to be fairly delayed as a result of this, but we'll be fine eventually. Are you also going to take... Yeah, you are also going to take 60, so yeah. Those are going to take forever, but it'll be fine. We'll get them eventually. Anomaly found. Yeah, like I said, it was going to have the terraforming candidate. I just knew it. Let's go ahead and build a robot there. Go ahead and build me a mining base over there. Because we're going to need that extra energy. So, our detailed survey of Venus has revealed that it may once have supported life, yada yada yada. You guys have probably seen or read this or heard it a numer bunch of times, so just gonna not bother reading it. And apparently has an unusual thin Construction atmosphere. Construction complete. Okay, so now I'm not losing energy, so, you know, that's a bonus. Oh, whoops, I don't want you to be renamed either. You're still Mars, as far as I'm concerned. Let's say use that. Uh, we use kinetics, so none of those are good. Construction complete. And the only reason we're using kinetic is because I figure we probably haven't figured out how to really weaponize energy beams. So obviously we'll eventually research that, but I figure our own probably hasn't figured out how to really use put enough power into a beam of energy to actually do damage to ships. And for anyone curious, I'm using the Legend of the Galactic Heroes ship mod from uh, Lobo, I think is their Steam name. Just because, uh, specifically I'm using the Galactic Empire one, because, you know, I just kind of like them. I really do. And I feel as though it kind of, well, maybe not so much the shapes of these. These are, yeah, not the greatest. But something, you know, sleek like that, yeah, I think our Rome would love that. Construction complete. So I don't I don't normally mess with the camera, so I was screwing up all over the place there. Oh, that reminds me, I do want to go and build another science ship. I do typically like to run two early on. But that's gonna be a little while. And yes, our colony ship is literally just a big box. Uh, more energy credits. Go over there. We'll get the research later when we actually have what we need. Yeah. 
Just gonna get rid of the sprawling slums. System survey. Good for complete. you. You got careful. Now you're done there. Uh, in terms of another, so I would love for you to go over there. That's a nice cutoff point, or choke point rather. Well, whatever. You guys get my point. It's a good place to try and cut off anybody else from getting to the center, or at least getting close to our home. So I'm just gonna have them go over there and survey that so they can maybe find us a world Tile to colonize. Cleared. Though even if they do, it's gonna be a good long while before we colonize it because, yeah. We got 30 some odd months for both of these still. Construction complete. Okay, some new aliens that we can Initiating survey. Initiating tactical rift. To learn about. And they are actually blocking that system, so we'll have to go there later. Ooh. Initiating tactical retreat. Uh, okay, now we got religious fanatics. Fun! Go kill them. Centuries ago, a group of radical priests and their devoted followers on Terra broke away from the established religions to form their own church. These extremists called themselves the Red Prophets and have been responsible for many atrocities and acts of terror over the years. Although they may have kept a low profile in modern times, they recently learned that many of their agents have infiltrated our military. These renegades have secretly been diverting resources to the construction of a small fleet of starships at a hidden facility on Terra. When their treachery was revealed, the cultists blasted into orbit on their ships and fled to Venus. Battle is joined. How the Oh, game, you probably should have thought that through. I'm going to be honest with you, game. You really should have. If these guys are going to run around with lasers, they should run around with my same starting weapon, period, really. So I don't have lasers. They should be using my weapons. Sure, we'll board it later. Of course, we got to blow up the ships. You know, I... E yep, no, we still don't have a good one. Okay, you go home. Science ship. I don't know why you're going to the star when you're trying to run away. Uh, oh good, that'll stay forever, so we'll get around to it later. First, let's survey that size 25 savanna world over there, because that sounds like a nice place. And there are no colonizable worlds anyway around the actual choke point itself. They're all frozen or hothouse or gas giants. Oh, we got a toxic moon as well. Okay, I don't think there's anything else you can do here besides build me some more. Anomaly found. I'll leave that be. I don't want you to fail it. Prefer to minimize your failure chance, so... You know, they change it to where now there's always a 5% chance of failure, but I will wait until I am down to that 5% chance. So, honestly, that change didn't really change anything. I think I'll leave this one here because it doesn't change anything. Well, if I move it here, I get three. I think I'll still, I think I'll move it. Um, you, I'm definitely going to move to one of these two tiles here in the center. Or, well, rather, just one of these three, really. It doesn't matter beyond that. It just needs to be something better than up in the top left-hand corner, where, for whatever reason, that console command, even in my testing, always put it in the top left most tile. Construction complete. Okay, we finished building the robot, but uh, yeah, I didn't time that right. So the robot's not working at peak efficiency yet. He will eventually. Or rather, it will. Whatever. Have you... Sur oh, you did. Okay, wonderful. Not a bad world. And this is actually a decent place to get adjacency bonuses, because I get it in all directions. So, 
I think we will be colonizing this. Obviously not right now, because we don't have 500 minerals. Construction nor do we have the complete. energy credit surplus to survive. But eventually, we will be colonizing that. And in the relatively near future. Okay. Oh, military ships for that. I thought it was a science Construction ship. Construction complete. I screwed that up. Are you guys doing it? Okay, you are. It's just you're so far away from it, it looks like. Special project complete. Ah, uh, yada yada yada. I already saw roughly this event change, so unless something has changed with it, it should still be the same as in my Elfiel Imperium campaign. Which means I don't care about it. Um... Don't know why I can't investigate those. I think there might be a bug with the mods and the latest version. I'm going to assume it's the UI mod that I use. Because that's the only reason I could think of why I'm not actually able to see anything here. Yeah. And same with Fate Recognitions. That mod's gonna I'll have to report that for that mod. But there's definitely a bug. Because I don't even have the button to investigate. Which also means I won't be able to meet other people. They'll have to meet me. Which, you know what? Debris I'm fine analyzed. with that, actually. Okay. So we know about a size 25 Savannah world over there. Is there a good world over here? That I can colonize to sort of secure our home system something I would love to do. Uh, 11 more or 10 more months and we will have our better power plants to be helpful. Let's go ahead and just queue up the robot. It'll take 30 months to build. By then I should have already moved on. Let's go ahead and get Discovery because I want to get down to the Planetary Survey Core. And then I'll probably switch to um, like Expansion. Okay, a couple more months and those will be done. I don't recall off the top of my head how much it costs to build one of these, but uh, I'm just going to be honest with you guys, I will probably, I think I can set specific amounts. I don't know actually, I've never really tried it. Oh, okay, can't go over there, so go over there. I mean, I really just need to block this off. I really don't care how you do it. And you can barely see the hyperlanes. We have established a new planetary base. Okay. They use robots. Okay, game. Whatever you say. Um, go ahead and demolish that. Reassemble ship shell. Okay, it's free. Wonderful. Um, you know what? Actually, I'm fine with the robots being there. Which now makes me wonder if it had used robots, would I be able to have colonized that without trans turning it into an Arctic world? Possibly. But, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna ignore that fact. Because I had no way of knowing it was gonna use the robots. Anomaly find. Apparently finishing the colonization of Luna didn't really change anything, it seems, in terms of our budget. We have established a new planetary base. At the very least, it doesn't seem like it did. Oh, demolish. Build that. Don't worry, you'll get something eventually. You just kind of have to wait. For now, I'll tell you to sit on the building 
scientific breakthrough achieved? Um... I mean, to be honest, I know they're all going to take forever. Uh, let's go and get planetary unification. Abandoned amusement park. Got a mining network built there. Construction Science complete. Science lab there. Uh, we are not going to be building any more robots here. Construction complete. Go home. Luna has finished. Build you a mine. You know what? Screw it. We'll see what we use robots achieved. to establish our base on Luna. <laughs> I think I'll have Mars be a research world, though, because it has literally nothing on any of its tiles, so why the hell not? Uh, let's go ahead and get that. Um, which, of course, does mean I need to move somebody. So, I have the budget to move you. I'm going to resettle you. to there. Construction complete. Can I? Yes, I could disassemble you if I felt so inclined. I mean, eventually, sit. I'll get synths, which will be better. Now, we're not going to do actual synth ascension. I just want to note that for anyone thinking that's what we're going to do. No, that ain't going to happen. Scientific breakthrough achieved. We are staying as humans the entire time. Let's go and get administrative AI. Uh, did you find a world? No, you did not find a world down here. For me to call Construction artists. complete. So, I mean, I could have Luna do farming, but it wouldn't produce much anyway. you do that. I do want this to be an agricultural world or a research world because it just System survey it has complete. nothing else on it so seems like a decent idea at least to me. But to do that I am gonna need to find another world to use for agriculture. Ooh. Okay nope it's just a group living on an arctic world. Sure, go ahead and meet them, and then go and survey that size 24 Antarctic world. And that tropical might make a decent agricultural world, depending on if it gets any good modifiers for plus four. Construction complete. I'm hopeful it does. Oh, because that's going to cost 60 energy. Scientific breakthrough achieved. And let's go ahead and get better guns, because we're going to need them. You're going to be turned into a physics, so no. Okay, what are these people? Early space age, I could have told you that. They're authoritarian spiritualists. So they're okay, ooh, and they're industrious. But they are deviants, which means they might be inclined to become complete. things I don't want them to be. Basically, made the choice of either 
making basically no energy from this robot or making minerals, both of which are helpful. System survey complete. Ah, uh, yeah, no. Go ahead, survey it. I didn't mean to click away. I was trying to do some other stuff. And then, of course, game's like, oh, nope, now you're going to do this. Okay. Yeah, that continental world or that tomb or tropical world, one of these two has to be decent. To boldly go. Can you do it? No, it requires skill three. But again, because for whatever reason the UI right here is broken. Again, I assume it's one of, I assume it's the mod that's supposed to make the UI decent at 1440p is, well, doing that. Uh, oh, I didn't bother looking at our destroyer. Um, to be honest, there's not much reason for me to use Nah, you know what? I guess the medium's fine for now. Anomaly found. Yep, sure. Go ahead, check it out. Just don't forget to tell me what you can about Fukin 3. Because that will be helpful also. Okay, only about 30 minutes. Fascinating. Hopefully I don't run into like 20 time-displaced planets. Because in my test game as Rome, um, yeah, I had like 20 time-displaced planets in my little section of the galaxy. Uh, I think I was up in the like top left-hand corner and just all around me were time-displaced planets, one after another. And the only option when you get one of those is astonishing or whatever. It's like, no, after a while it stops being astonishing and you start to think pretty much all planets must be time displaced in some capacity. Hydroponics farm. We'll be fine. I'm going to move you up there. I'm going to put you there because I'm going to need that extra food. You are almost done, so I'm going to give you a basic... Uh, let's get a monument, actually, on this world. It's just one. Because we're going to need the unity as well. It'll be helpful. And then I can replace that with a science lab further down the line. Now I could go ahead and give myself academic privilege for all my pops and could we survive with that? Uh, I believe so, yes. And it doesn't seem to give um, egalitarian attraction, which is interesting because generally speaking, high, higher living standards to my knowledge are supposed to. But apparently academic privilege is, seems to be an exception to that rule. And so, yeah, I could go and do that. And again, I think we could survive with it, so... Yeah, it's only three minerals. And it means my people are happier, which means they produce more of whatever System they're producing. System survey complete. And there's also a bonus to research for everybody, so again, helpful. Okay. Um, not a particularly wonderful world. Head up here actually real quick if you don't mind and check out Cyrus or, yeah, Cyrus. I think it's Cyrus. Construction Might be complete. Cyrus. reason that was disabled I guess it decides to tie deactive or deactivating a building to the tile not that specific building so as a result any new building that gets placed there is considered turned off that's very weird 
don't know why you would have it set up like that, but apparently that's how they had it set up. Yeah, Luna's not going to produce a whole lot, but I think I'll just have it also be a mineral world. Or not also, but have it be a mineral world. Because there's not much else we can really do with it. At the end of the day, there really isn't. But I am going to need extra... Scientific breakthrough achieved. Energy credits, so I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, go for that. Can I get a... No, still all energy. Sure, that's a commendable initiative. Now, I would love for this to have what it got, what I ended up with in my base game, or in my test game rather, not base game. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about there. Uh, but in my test game, I ended up with a plus 25% to all three research fields from a modifier, which was a great modifier, to be honest. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Okay, we got better kinetic weapons. Let's go ahead and slap those on our ships. Um, I get the feeling the uh, ship power stations mod is not working because there should I believe this is the slot it's gonna supposed to be going in unless they made it an actual researchable tech now but generally speaking it was just a thing that you got period it was no additional work needed but uh, seems like that may not be the case anymore or again it's a bug I'm really not sure we'll figure that out eventually anomaly found Ooh, interesting Okay, okay, so on this world, oh, no, 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 go ahead, go ahead, survey it. So on this world, we have found a wondrous planet, so, or it is a wondrous planet because it has a pleasure palace, which is considered a, or no, because it has a land reef, rather, excuse me, that is considered a wonder. So, neat android pleasure palace. We get a bunch of research in all three fields. At least as of right now, that's a bunch of research. Later, that'll be nothing. So, and again, this is a result of mods. So I'll have a link in the description to a type form survey that'll list all the mods I'm using because it's just the easiest way to list them. But for the most part, it's the same mods that I was using in my Gorp Collective campaign. So this as an adjacency bonus of plus eight minerals to all adjacent tiles. Now, sadly, only one of those adjacent tiles is an actual mineral tile. The other is food. The other, I would have to get rid of the pleasure palace, which would give me extra energy credits. I'm not quite a fan of how those stack. And then another one is a research tile. So I can only really make effective use out of two. I could do three if I ignore the tile um resource here and then again i would have to clear this which i don't really want to clear because say you know extra energy credits is always nice especially depending upon when we, we get around to colonizing achieved. that and the rest of these can all be filled up by actual people Well, shit. <laughs> okay. So our scientist, uh, Nepia Paniculus, is crap. Well, not really crap, but uh, she kind of fucked up, I guess. I assume this is probably a bad end. 
So a thorough geological survey of Cirrus III by the RIS Silius reveals nothing of interest. In fact, it is extraordinarily uninteresting. The only defining feature is its lack of defining features, which I feel as though that's a load of bull considering it had an android pleasure palace and land reefs that give plus eight minerals to all adjacent tiles. I don't quite define that as a lack of defining features game. There are depressions and elevations, yes, but on the whole, the surface of Cirrus 3 can be regarded as unnaturally flat. Okay. That seems unlikely because you were detecting mountains before when you first surveyed it. Likewise, the native flora and fauna are strikingly docile and unworthy of attention. So, okay. I mean, this makes it easier to colonize, but you kind of you kind of screwed me there, game. You really did. Also, I think right here is where I would place my colony here because then the mine that would get placed here would have double adjacency bonuses and then I'd probably put a mineral processing plant somewhere for an additional 10% I think it is to minerals on this planet and ooh this planet will make a lot of minerals in my test game it made a lot of research I kind of prefer a lot of research to be honest <laughs> but I can live without a lot of research Okay, now go ahead and continue surveying down there. I need to... Tile blocker cleared. I need to build another science ship so I can survey all the planets within my actual current borders. For now, build me a mining base around Cirrus 3 because it's going to be... Well, I could go and colonize it now, but again, I lack the energy to survive doing that, so I'd rather not because having no energy construction complete. actually hurts. Uh, go for the anomaly fail risk and just survey everything here. I do not care how you go about it. I just need everything here surveyed. If it's within our borders, we gotta know what's there. Oh, I can only give you 99 orders. Or, well, 100 orders, technically speaking. Now, I am technically losing energy credit. That's not a whole lot, and that will change once our construction ship gets over here. Now, apparently I screwed up and didn't survey the moon of Cirrus 3. I can understand how I screwed that up. Uh, you'll have to do that later. Actually, wait. You can do your research project over there. And then go over there and survey. We'll be fine though. I, we should have you fully grown before there's any real issues. And of course, in your case, I could build a power plant there if need be. If it gets bad enough, so I'll just go ahead and build one anyway complete. for now. I can do the whole replacing it later. I don't mind. I'll just build around the idea that these two buildings here are definitely going to get replaced in the future. Take a good long while. Construction complete. Yep. Go ahead, survey it. I don't care. Our ships have been made superior. Okay, we got a militarist faction. I need the extra energy credit, so get over there and build me. Scientific breakthrough achieved. The mining stations, uh, yes please, better farms. And let's go ahead and get mineral research. Fascinating. Okay. 
your physics in 15 months I'll be able to build you up special project complete system survey complete oh uh, wait change of plans is a size 25 continental let's go and get that because that could be useful. Construction complete. Let's go and upgrade our spaceport so I can go ahead and actually get um, some destroyers built. If you don't mind, build me two more Corvettes. I don't like eight. I prefer ten. What is it, 13? Yeah, it should be 13 people. Apparently they're not wanting to join this. System Some of them, I guess, want to join complete. a militarist faction. We don't have enough militarists to join. Or not militarist, materialist. Anomaly they need, like, found. two more people. No, that's not quite right. You got seven there, I've got 13. So somebody, or some handful of people at least, are not materialists, or militarists it seems. But that doesn't seem right. Okay, I don't know what the hell's going on there. Wait. Never mind, leave that be for now. Go back to doing what you were doing. Fill me mines. I'll have you have something pick this other stuff up later, but for now I need the energy. Wonderful, and I can actually finally start getting science labs again. Okay, there we go. Now we have the materialist faction again. Or not again, but now we actually have it. Um, Luna? Let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and do that stuff. Strange Temple. The indescribable beauty of the mysterious ruined rock hewn temple will be breathtaking to any. Okay. Yeah, let's just leave it be. Ooh, wonderful. Precursor capital complex on this world. Which increases unity and decreases building costs, as well as increasing building build speed. So, fascinating. And just having found one of these gives us a plus one to core sector system. So now I can have six. And I also got some free unity. So that's also a nice little bonus. However, this world is covered in endless forests, which is going to make colonizing it a bit of a pain. Is there anywhere particularly great to set up in the actual colony? Here and here look to be the best places in terms of getting the maximum number of adjacency bonuses but they both require me to learn how to get rid of toxic kelp and dense jungles. And you know, at least the endless forests are actually cheap to clear. So it's not that bad. It could be worse. But we will look into colonizing that complete. a little further down the line, I think. And Well, I mean, I could go ahead and start the process now. Well, not actually now, because I'm actually missing quite a System few minerals. System survey complete. Okay, now you go and do what I originally told you to do like 20 times now. But this time you'll actually do it. Because there's nothing that should divert your attention. Construction complete. Science ship, anything? Nope. Scientific breakthrough achieved. 
Uh, yes, please, to the solar panel network. System survey complete. Damn. No energy there. Okay, you are actually going to manage to survey that entire system. Wonderful that the game's actually that smart. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Wonderful, the extra food will be helpful. Uh, in fact, I think I will go and take that plus 10% to food. It'll allow our pops to grow a little bit faster as well. It should be helpful when establishing a colony down here. Uh, this has no real negatives outside of the fact that it takes 200 influence away from us, but uh, you know what, I think I'm gonna say yes. Because I can't really think of a good reason to say no. Once you're done there, go back and check found. that tropical world. Ah, uh, yeah, those things are more powerful than us. Let's not try and fight them. Oh, finally a kinetic. Admittedly, they're probably not going to live for too much longer. Yeah, no, they're supposed to die sometime after hitting the age of 72. Let's go ahead and get some destroyers built. Once Luna has built all of those, that'll be helpful. Yeah, that's going to take a while. Construction ah, complete. Wonderful. This is energy and minerals there. System survey complete. Good, you're done. Uh, okay, it's gonna take you a little while. We're gonna have to work our way through there. We'll be fine though. You're still growing, but once you're fully grown, I'll be able to System upgrade this if I bother complete. to save up the minerals. Will I bother to save the minerals? Probably not, knowing my luck. Or, well, not really my luck, but rather just the fact that there are other things I need to spend those minerals on. Anomaly found. That plus 10% will be helpful, though. Ooh. You found something regarding precursors. An Alpha Centauri. Uh, another, none of those worlds are particularly great. Uh, what does it require? Skill five. I don't have a skill five. Upgrade that to a physics lab. Oh, another wondrous planet. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. It's going to be a little bit shorter part. Uh, heads up that I'm planning to do two videos of this series a week going forward. It's just that. At least right now, you guys are going to get a shorter part and probably only this one part this week. But in future weeks, you're going to get two. Uh, go ahead and say unbelievable to that. So this is actually a nice little planetary wonder. Plus eight to engineering research for all adjacent tiles and plus six to minerals. Although admittedly, that is kind of annoying because it literally is a... You have to pick what do you want more of, minerals or energy or engineering research and admittedly I'm more inclined to go with minerals because those are always useful 
while eventually research its usefulness kind of slows down because eventually you just get a bunch of repeatable techs and eventually this plus eight per or plus eight engineering doesn't really matter too much so I'll probably just go with building mines all around there but yeah so I'm like I said I'm gonna end this part here I'll see you all in the next part but until then a goodbye and farewell